In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Flutter package Expandable. This is the simple app we're going to build today, where we simply have a list view, and when we press on this here, it will automatically expand. And when we press on it again, it will collapse, no matter where you click. Let's get started. As mentioned, we're going to use the Flutter package Expandable. Just press on here to copy it to your clipboard, then in your pubspec.yaml file, underneath your dependencies, just paste it in here and run pubget. That's all we need to do for the setup. Now concerning our layout, I simply build a very simple Flutter app where we have a scaffold. The scaffold has an app bar and then this body here. This body has a list view and each list view item is wrapped within a container so that we can give it a box decoration with the shadow here. And this container is wrapped with a padding. So we have vertical padding here and horizontal padding. And then also within this container, we again have some vertical padding and some horizontal padding. And then within this padding, we have our expandable panel, which we directly get from the expandable Flutter package. And in here we can define that header. So this is the header where we simply can give in a widget, then the collapsed widget here. And then when you press on this, this is the expanded widget. If you have text, for example, here to give it the effect of this being shortened with the three dots here, what I did was define the max lines for the text widget and also say overflow text overflow dot ellipsis. Then another thing we still can do for our expandable panel here is define its theme. For that, we use expandable theme data. Here, for example, you can set the icon color and the header alignment. So I made it centered. Also, you can define a lot of other things. For example, has icon. So if this is set to false, then you wouldn't see an icon here. One thing I'm still going to mention is that I wrote a custom class called article, which has a title and body as variables. And then at the top, I just defined a default article with its title being test article and then the usual lorem ipsum text as body and then I use this for the header text and the body for the collapsed and expanded widgets. So this is the article title and this is the article body. I hope you liked this tutorial. Please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions feel free to ask them down below in the comments and thank you for watching.